particularly in uh, in Port Harcourt, you will know that there are a lot of mosques in River State. In the township area in Niger, um, Creek Road, um, in uh, GRA, in, um, in Polo Club, especially the, uh, the, um, uh, the one in Polo Club, I am very much aware of how um, the, uh, the Polo Club Mosque came to be, came to be built. And um, uh, at the time, um, I asked the question that if, um, is there also a church in the, in the grounds of the, um, of, of the Polo Club? But, uh, so when we um, heard that the, uh, the River State government and um, the, uh, the complaints and the attacks began uh, to mention specifically um, as if it was a wiki, Governor Wiki, that went physically directly to go and uh, demolish um, uh, the mosque. And it was being posted, uh, I, I was receiving calls uh, from, uh, from outside Nigeria, uh, people were asking um, is it true? And the comments that were uh, that were being made. Now, um, I think everybody in River State um, is aware um, that it will be near impossible without any good ground for um, for Governor Wiki to to get up and go and destroy, or for the government of Governor Wiki or any of the agencies to get up and go and destroy um, a mosque. But we also, in this state, are aware that there was a period of time when even churches, um, fences of churches, churches um, were, uh, were told uh, to, uh, to bring down their fences and uh, by um, by a government in in uh, in River State, we're also aware that um, across Nigeria, in uh, in the in the northern part of Nigeria, that it is not in, it is not news, nor is it surprising when we hear that um, uh, churches are burnt and and uh, stuff like that. Now, these are very critical issues, very fundamental, basic issues that attack the rights of our people wherever they are across Nigeria, whether they be in the north or whether they be in the south, whether they be Christians or whether um, they, be, uh, they be Muslims. They are, they are destructive, they are antagonistic, whether it is a mosque that is brought down or a church that is uh, brought down. And so, when this actually is not the truth, it becomes more uh, uh, antagonistic. It becomes um, a, a falsehood that is put out there, first of all, to create problems um, for, the, for the government at wherever it has happened, to create problems in the state, to create... Um, um, antagonistic environment uh, within political within political parties um, even and therefore I consider <clears throat> this particular um, this particular issue um, a, mm -hmm. a serious mm -hmm. issue for us um, to be careful about and to always stand for the truth to always speak the truth and also um, to defend, to be able to stand up for our state at this particular time in Nigeria. Um, a few months ago, um, the, uh, the organization called Murik Movement of uh, uh, Islamic Rights, their leader, um, came out and attacked the fact that Governor Wiki had said that River State is uh, a Christian, a Christian state. Now, it, uh, it's a matter of interest, therefore, to me as a rivers, uh, as a rivers daughter. For as long as I can remember, 
we have not had issues in River State between uh, religion, between religious groups, no matter whether it is uh, Christian, whether it is uh, Muslim, whether it is uh, people that worship moon or sun or whatever uh, the case um, the case may be. But when I, um, I, I was able to confirm and also read within 24 hours of the news going about that um, uh, the, the governor of River State has demolished a mosque, which turned out to be a blatant lie because there is uh, the, uh, the statements that came out um, showed a progression of how what the issues have been with that particular piece of land, what uh, the the, uh, the when the issue started, and to the extent that um, this particular matter is actually <coughs> excuse me is actually um, in court. Now, when and if we allow things like this to be politicized and. Um, offensive statements are made that are made on the basis of a lie that is uh, propagated as a truth, it becomes um, a problem that we should not allow it to just go uh, in that manner because it creates and ferments trouble that we may not happen today, but then may happen uh, may happen in the uh, in the future. So one, uh, the uh, the River State government has clarified its position. The question that we need to ask ourselves as rivers people, as Muslims, as Christians, is that why will one? anybody wants to say that River State government have demolished a mosque knowing how sensitive that uh, statement will be. Why will anybody want to say that if that is not true? <clears throat> Why will we even, as River State people, even as Christians, not first of all seek for the truth, to find out, to investigate, to make calls, not just one call, not just two calls, to ask two, three people that are on ground in River State, is this true? Before people will start making comments from uh, United Kingdom, from America, from Abuja, from Lagos, and making comments that further compounds a lie and makes it even more uh, sensitive and even insensitive to uh, to uh, to the circumstances uh, to the circumstances and uh, and situations. So I felt and I still feel that we have the responsibility in Nigeria today. Every indigent of a state of a, lo a local government. <coughs> of an ethnic nationality have it as a responsibility and if they don't then they must have it as a responsibility first of all to themselves second to their state to their local government to their faith and to the development of their state to always take a position that is based on truth and that is based on Provable, uh, provable facts. Now, the insensitivity, some of the insensitivity that have arisen from this is that immediately this issue came up. The uh, organization, MURIC organization, got up and started making um, statements. It is not this organization is not part of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is not, Nigerians did not vote for this organization to represent officially to, re, uh, in, in go governmentally, if, if you like, 
to represent the interests of any group or any religion that they want to uh, that they want to represent, and to therefore um, make, in my opinion, what I will call inflammatory statements and referring to River State as. It, 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 the, the, uh, the, uh, the statement said that Murik um, said a, a peace, uh, a place in River State, referring to River State as a place where they, um, they uh, that they consider um, a landmark, an Islamic landmark. You cannot wake up and refer to a piece of land in another man's state that is uh, being argued in case as to whether you have a right or not. The governor of a state has a right over the land on in his state. And so when you begin to, uh, to make those sort of statements, as, as a Christian, I get offended. As a river state daughter, I get offended. You cannot refer to river state as uh, that, that part of the country where you have decided to build an Islamic landmark. You do not own Nigeria, nor do you own river state. And to then refer to uh, the governor legally the government of uh, uh, river state legally doing what it has a right to do to protect the land of river state for you to now refer to it as an illegal and an unconstitutional act you have no such right to determine whether the, what River State government has done in this instance is illegal or unconstitutional. That is for the court uh, to, uh, to, uh, to decide. To now refer to the government of River State by saying that thugs have seized the reign of power in certain government houses in, in River State is also offensive. And so, the, the first responsibility falls with the people of River State. The first responsibility falls with the believers the, 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 to protect their right to their faith. If we are unable to do this or to stand up for this, for political reasons or for um, for support of a political party, we're doing ourselves a disservice. We're doing ourselves a disservice. We will put on ground something today that we may not be able to undo tomorrow because you don't like the government today or you don't like uh, the person that is heading the government today in River State. If you allow things that will affect all of us, and it becomes law, when in three years time, four years time, the government of today goes, and uh, Governor Wike is no longer the governor, you have put on ground what we did, what uh, Niger Delta people did, what River State people did, Bayelsa people did, in 2015, by accepting what was um, what was uh, given to uh, to uh, to us as Jonathan not being the right person, and that Jonathan must go. Today, we have seen the uh, the um, the disadvantage of not knowing the facts, of not. Um, putting the interest of your region and your state first, but putting the interest of a political party. I keep saying this thing. It is not and should not be about 
the interest of a political party. It should be about the interest of the people of River State, whichever political party they belong to. So we need to encourage ourselves to look for the truth. Today, in, uh, in Niger Delta, there is a lot going on that if we don't want to accept the reality, we will see it very soon. Because now, Niger Delta people are actually fighting over positions in places like NDDC, in places like Ministry of Niger Delta, in places like uh, Amnesty Program. And these agencies were set up to, I say, to deceive us. We struggled, we fought before NDDC came. There are people who don't know the history of NDDC. We fought and agitated before Obasanjo offered NDDC from 1998. We fought and agitated before Ministry of Niger Delta was given. We fought and agitated, and eventually um, amnesty came. And yet, the reasons behind all these agencies have been defeated. Because our people that are put there have misunderstood. And that is why the federal government never puts people in place that actually were part of the struggle that brought these agencies about. So if you if you have no idea, if you don't have if if, if you don't know why uh, the NDDC was set up, and you you have ten degrees and you're uh, so-called bureaucrat, and they bring you and appoint you as a political appointee to come and run the NDDC. The way you will run the NDDC is not the same way that people who were shot at and wounded or have, or have lost people in the process of bringing up NDDC will run NDDC. NDDC is not a, de a developmental agency. It is an intervention agency. And yet, people who have all this uh, knowledge have accepted that it is a developmental agency. It is not. Amnesty was set up for 30,000 people at the agreed time that carried arms. Today, Amnesty is being seen as a developmental arm of government. It is not. And yet today, in 2019, if we investigate the books of Amnesty, we will see that the companies and the owners of the companies that are getting the so-called training, where are the people that have been trained? Are not from, um, uh, are not from the Niger Delta. They are from everywhere else but the Niger Delta. And yet, we are told that it is a Niger Delta program. It's not a Niger Delta program. It's a federal government program for federal government uh, uh, people, for their family members, for their, uh, for their friends, for their uh, uh, political uh, appointees, and for their uh, uh, political friends. It's the same thing with the Ministry of Niger Delta. You cannot have a Ministry of Niger Delta which is based in Abuja that is run on the basis of, um, of a federal character and then say that it is a, it is a Ministry for, for Niger Delta. No, it is not. And so we need to understand for ourselves as a people that if an Urobo man or an Ishekiri man is the chairman or, um, 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 or FDA, whatever, of the uh, NDDC, it doesn't matter. What should matter is that what the, the work this Urobo man or Ishekiri man or Ikone man is doing, is it reaching every 
Niger Delta state? Is it reaching every Niger Delta community? This should be the issue that, um, that should be at stake. And yet, we have allowed strangers to use politics to determine the drive and the thrust of what is in the best interest of Niger Delta people. And we have Niger Delta people who are willing to allow this to take place because of their selfish uh, reasons. Within the last political uh, appointments, and more are still coming, people that have been abused and insulted for not doing the right thing for Niger Delta, these same people, as soon as they have gotten appointments, the same Niger Delta people who are abusing them are congratulating them on the pages of, uh, of, uh, of newspapers. No, that is not how it should be. Everything should be truthful and based on facts. If we have people who are not interested in the future and the development of the Niger Delta region, we should say so fearlessly. Fearlessly, we should say so. We should not allow Niger Delta people to use Niger Delta resources, the little that they are grudgingly giving to us. We should not allow politicians to use these things to please their friends, who, as far as I'm concerned, are strangers. The fact that the law says Nigeria is one and that everybody has a right to live wherever they want in Nigeria, that is the law. We accept it. It's the law. But it does not give anybody the right to determine what will happen in that state, in the place they've chosen to live, as if they are indigenous to those places. If we are afraid to discuss these issues, we'll just be going around in circle. One minute we want this, the next minute we want something else. We started off by calling for resource control. We started off by calling for 50%, which everybody else had. Then we moved on and we started calling for uh, ownership. And we moved on and we started calling for um, um, a restructured Nigeria. A restructured Nigeria simply takes us back to where we were comfortable, where we had regionalism. And today, we're told that that is no longer um, going to be uh, possible. And I also believe that that will not be possible. But it doesn't mean that I will not continue to call for a restructured Nigeria because it is the best option that is available to us. But if we do not have a restructured Nigeria, then the ethnic nationalities who must speak for themselves must have the opportunity to have a referendum. But some people will tell you a referendum is not possible in Nigeria because it's not in the Constitution. Yes, we agree. These are the things that we're talking about. Because the Constitution was written in a particular way to favor a particular section of Nigeria. But we can insist that we look at the um, constitution as it is today and alter it where we need to alter it so that it works for everybody. You should not have 19 states in the north and have 17 states in the south. It, 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 then you cannot get what you want from the National Assembly. So going to the National Assembly for me is a waste of time because you cannot achieve what you want. And yet we have senators who keep going to the National Assembly without raising these issues. So what are they even there for? What are they there for? Fine, 
you give local government their allocation. But where is the allocation coming from? The allocation is coming from the United Delta. How many local governments are in the United Delta? Fine, you give allocation by state. They have more states in one side of Nigeria. They give allocation by local government. They have more states, uh, more local government in, uh, in certain uh, zones in, uh, in Nigeria. So I, I don't understand what it is that politicians actually think that they are doing. But most of all, I don't understand what we, the electorate, actually think that we're doing, we're doing for ourselves. We have rights. We must pursue um, these rights. Religion is a right. We cannot run away as individuals, as uh, ethnic nationalities, from the issue of religion. It exists in this country. Pretending that if we do talk about it, it is uh, unpatriotic. If we talk about it, it is uh, you're not a good Nigerian. It is not true. We're not using religion to govern Nigeria. We have never used it to govern Nigeria. And yet, religion is playing a major and very destructive role in governance. And yet we pretend as if it's not happening and that if we stick our heads in the ground, that it will that it will go that it will go away. No, it will not go away. The law, in the instance of um, of this uh, recent um, issue, in doing research, I actually found out that there was a time in um, in twenty in in two thousand and eight in Kano that the Kano state government actually brought down a Catholic church called Christ the King Catholic Church. It was demolished by the Kano State Urban Planning Development Agency, which is a fact. Whereas what is being claimed today that uh, uh, against uh, the government of River State today is not even true. But this Kano incident was true, and the Kano government issued a statement saying that it is explaining that the church did not get permission to, uh, it did not pay for, it did not acquire a certificate of occupancy before commencing building. And in explaining this to, uh, to pressmen, the director of the uh, Kano Urban Planning Development Agency said that the temporary structure of the church was removed after serving them a notice four months ago, advising them to prove its legitimacy or remove it within time. The government gave them notice not to do anything on the land, but they went ahead with illegal. So you can see that even if you compare the two stories today, the one that happened in Kano in 2008, and the one that is claimed to have happened, which is not true, is basically the same, uh, the same reason. And the governor has said that somebody should come and show the world where the, the mosque was and where it was demolished. Now, the false photographs that were being uh, passed around on social media will confuse people and make people to make wrong decisions. There was uh, something I read on social media where it is said that uh, someone is calling from um, uh, Muslims all over the world to come to Kano so that they can break down uh, churches in Kano. I mean, it sounds uh, uh, infantile and pathetic, but these this are as a result of false story fake news being perpetrated for political reasons against River State, in effect against River's people and against the governor of River State. No, this will not take us anywhere. So at this, um, at this point, we have raised um, 
I think, have raised an uh, issue that should concern all of us. And um, the lines are the lines are open now. And um, the first line is zero eight one eight eight five eight eight one five five. And um, the second line is zero eight zero nine two eight nine five six two um, two zero. The lines um the lines are open now. So um, the the thrust of it for us as a people in River State in Nigeria in in uh, Niger in Niger Delta. Hello. 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 Good morning, ma. Good morning, my brother. How are you? My name is Prince. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, my brother. Well, the story you are painting on the radio is very pathetic, and the problem we have is that when things happen there, uh, people just blow things um, out of proportion. Mm. In every standard, the governor of River State has the right to execute any project because the whole land in River State is under its care. Mm. And if a person or a community or a, um, a church or a mosque, whatever name they are called, has not contained the right approval to erect any structure in such a site. The government has every continuing right to ask questions and to bring people to justice. Besides that, every time things happen in a Christian state or in the EU, when it concerns Christian and Muslim issues, people overblow issues and they don't look at things um, the way they should be looked at. Muslims are doing their businesses everywhere in the United States. They have not been molested. But if you want to take into account the incidents that have happened in other states concerning Christians and Muslims, it's enough for people to rise up and do unthinkable things. But by the grace of God, people are not doing that. Yes. And people should not take people for granted. Yes. We here in River State, we are not stupid, we are not fools. Mm. Our brothers in Kano and wherever they are, being murdered every day, and nobody's talking about it. Mm. Yeah, we are not talking about murder now. We are just talking about what's legitimate. And people are going for me, I don't, I don't see anybody who says that is wrong as a human being. I think they are just doing that for their political reasons, and I know they will not succeed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, we, we still must touch on it and make sure that people do the right, people do the right thing. Like I said, it's yes. not about politics for us. It's about what is right for us and the truth yes, exactly. at every given, at every, like I said, uh, in four years' time, Governor Wicke will not be there. But if you allow a, an injustice, a wrong, a lie to stand, when the next governor comes, how do, how do, you, uh, 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 how do you remove it? Yes. How do you remove it? You don't have to like Wiki or love Wiki, you know, but what, where, where we are today in Nigeria, we must protect our state. We must do yes. what is right, and we must stand by the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, definitely... Um, hello? Okay. Um, definitely we, um, we owe it, as I said, to... Hello? Okay, we owe it to ourselves as a as a responsibility um, to to stand with the truth, you know, for the sake of today, for the sake of tomorrow. We don't. Nobody can say that they they know for sure how. Um, hello. How the um, how. The politics is going to is going to play out. One minute we want this, the next minute we don't know uh, we don't know uh, what we want. In the meantime, our heads we are allowing our heads to be knocked together for uh, for uh, for political uh, for political reasons. It's crazy. Um, it makes us look um, it makes us look ridiculous because we we truly don't seem to know. Um, what it is that we want. And we must know what we want in this region. We must know what we want in, uh, in this state. Hello? Good 
Good morning, madam. Hello, good morning, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mr. Kondo, and I'm calling you from Zealand. Okay, sir, go ahead. Please, I want to urge our governor to resolute and not intimidate What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is Nene Lebanon. Okay. I'm I, calling from Nene From where? I'm calling from Nene Lebanon. Okay, oh great. It's good to know that we did reach by us. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, uh, my name is Nene Lebanon. Okay. You know, as you walk, we alter and we start an investigation. You know, when we can do come together and make sure and not try to be together and bring the amalgamation, I'm talking about the 2014. No, repeat yourself. Repeat. Wait, wait. Repeat yourself. Repeat yourself. You said what? Re go, go right back to the beginning. Okay, okay. I said right from the beginning, when they see that, I'm talking about the start and the number during the amalgamation in 2014. Yes. So I was not talking about that because I told you. Yes. Hello? Yes, I'm, I'm hearing. All right. So, even when the Nigerian state was sent there at once, yes. you know, there is a state, the United States that was sent there as of then. And, you know, everything that you know, I was sent there. The other state I was sent there is uh, Arab Bukhari or Abdanja 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 uh, our, our brother here from Denver State, uh, I'm talking about the uh, Hacking Glass. There was a national commissioner. Yes. And during the time again, in 2014, as they did, they were there. As the national conference. Yes. Because the 2014 conference, as they did, they were there. Yes. And the national conference, they don't raise any alarm concerning the aid and policy, the political imbalance in Nigeria. And no one can sit there on television, they were tripping. They were tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were tripping. I thought about you because I was watching you live from there. Thank you. 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 Thank we 
Sometimes um, it is good to allow. Hello? Yeah, this is Mr. Zion. Good morning to you. Uh -huh. Zion, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, go you ahead. Know, the situation has not called for, for us to be fine. Okay, well, it, it's always good to be fine. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty good. I can't see close to the fall. Yeah. The truth is this. We, from this Niger Delta region, we are our own problem. Whatever formula we want to ask for, except we are sincere to ourselves in this region, we will not get out of this problem. I want to use on this medium to beg us as Niger Delta, for those who should fear God and fear this region. For us to understand that there are people who have laid down their lives for us to be alive. Our sons and daughters were killed. Our mothers, our sisters, some of them were raped just for us to achieve this major delta which we are calling today. But look at our attitude to the environment. Our approach to the environment is poor. We will have opportunities to work on offices. We will embezzle the money. Okay, look at all the Niger Delta sons and daughters that are under investigation or under years. Where are their properties located? In the north, Lagos, or Abuja. Why did they inspect those properties here in this region? Okay, so Zion, what Zion, Zion, what is your suggestion? What you're saying are the things, yeah. No, we are only saying that. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Yes. It is high time we start to consider the spirit of the Niger Delta upon us. Those who have given you opportunity to serve in any office, mm -hmm. being a native or being representative or being on appointment, please bring development to this region. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Well, we have uh, a few more minutes. Um, what's happening? We have a few more. Hello? Okay, we have a few more minutes um, um, to go. Uh, <laughs> when um, it's nice to hear two sides. The, the, um, the, the young man uh, before, um, hearing about the the horror stories of um, the Biafran War from uh, from his mother um, have uh, concluded that any any contribution um, to to the issues of um, 
of Nigeria is incitement. It is not. Um, it is not um, incitement. It is stating the facts and saying um, that it is our responsibility um, to, uh, to to make sure that things are done right and done properly in our states and in our region. You know, people have talked about, I mean, corruption, corruption, corruption. We have seen very clearly that corruption is not only in the Niger Delta. I was reading uh, Amber Day's, uh, the former governor of uh, Lagos State. Amber Day listed about 10 or 12 reasons why um, he's been attacked by a certain section of his own um, political party. Um, and half of what he said was based on corruption. That he refused to increase the payment he's making to a particular person from 10% to 20%. That is Lagos State, um, Lagos State, Lagos State allocation. That a human being is taking, has been taking 10% of um, of Lagos State government allocation, and was asking, according to Ambody, and was asking for it to be increased to 20%. It's crazy. So it is not only in Niger Delta where there is corruption. There is corruption all over the world. There is corruption in Nigeria. Definitely it is very bad in Nigeria. But the corruption of Nigeria, we should first of all deal with what our issues are and what our responsibilities are here in the Niger Delta, here in River State and amongst ourselves. I have said very uh, numerous times, we need to be united in the Niger Delta. We need to be united in River State because at the end of the day, it is us that have to live with ourselves. On that note, I um, we still have like two um, two minutes, uh, one more one more minute. Anyway, um, it's nice to be back. It's wonderful um, um, to be back. I will continue to do my best. I will continue to stand up um, and uh, add my voice to other people's voices. I will continue to, uh, to, uh, to express what I know as the truth and believe and express my belief on all our, our behalf and make sure that justice and equity and liberty comes to the people of the Niger Delta. I'm not God, I don't know how Nigeria is going to end up, but all I know is that I want, whichever way Nigeria ends up, I want us to have the, the better end of the stake. That is to say that let justice prevail in, um, in the process of um, what is happening in Nigeria for both Christians and Muslims and for um, Niger Delta people and every every other uh, region in Nigeria. On that note, uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and um, I look forward.